final topic today, we're just going to cover the flow bundles or select link analysis. All right, so these flow bundles can be used to display information about where trips are going to and from in the network. And as you can see here, in this case, we're just highlighting a, a single link. And so that will show up uh, as purple. And then where those trips are coming from are showing up here in blue. And then you can also see where they, where they are headed. And then there's also some of these labels that are displayed that just show you the number of trips that are utilizing that particular link. And so this is just a great way to be able to quickly see where trips are, are in the network and where they're, where they're going. And you can see here that we have some coming from the driveways. Um, where we have most people coming from is, is this major freeway here. And this can be set up to view um, any results for the zones, nodes, or links, or any combination of these. So all of the, the flow bundle options are within that graphics menu. And if you select flow bundle, this will open up this graphic tools window over on the right hand side of the Zoom. And if you ever, um, all of the other graphic options will also be um, shown down here at the bottom. And you can always just click on this flow bundle option as well if you have this uh, toolbar, toolbar open on the right hand side. So first off, you'll just want to change that drop down to select which object you would like to add as part of the condition settings for the flow bundle. And again, you can choose between either links or nodes or zones. And once you have that selected, uh, the, you'll have a little icon that's shaped like a little hammer where you can go into the network editor and select the objects that you want to use for your conditions. So in this case, we just chose a couple of links. So you can see first it's going to take a look at vehicles uh, uh, traveling on link 116, and then it will look at any vehicles traveling over link 56. And you can click these um, options over here on the left-hand side if you maybe wanted to exclude this one. So any, any vehicles that traveled over link 116 and did not travel over 56, um, there's a lot of different options that you can use here as well. And then up, up at the very top is where you can select that play button to actually go ahead and generate that flow bundle. And then if you need to reset and clear out that flow bundle and create a new one, you can select the initialize button here. And then you can also use that plus button up at the top if you wanted to use another set of conditions within this conditions um, box down here. And this will just create another set with an or statement. So you could search both the first set or the second set. And then all of these options will allow you to either duplicate, delete, or update the order of any of the conditions in that window. And then if you make a whole bunch of changes and perhaps you want to undo some of those, you can click uh, this little play button with the little star icon in the lower right. And this will actually reset all of the parameter options in here back to the last condition set that was executed. And all of the graphics for the flow bundles are all within this edit, edit graphic parameters window. You can also open this if you actually just right click on that link icon, and that will bring you here right to the, to the links um, window options. In here, you'll want to select bars and then display. And once that flow bundle is run, there'll be a new option added here just called standard bars. And you'll see here that the related attribute is this volume flow bundle PRT. So in here, you can adjust any of the coloring if you want to change that, and adjust any of the, uh, any of the scaling factors as well. Now, in order to view additional details about the flow bundle and actually see maybe what paths are taking that option, you can go to the list drop-down menu and then select path, PRT path. And that will open up this window here. And, and in this PRT path window, you'll want to change the selection to only look at the flow bundle routes. And then you can update that origin zone filter if you wanted to, to maybe use um, all to view data for every zone in the network that's going to go over that and utilize this flow bundle. 
And this will show you results such as like the, the from and to zones. You can see the volume traveling over each of these paths. And if you click on each of these options, it will highlight it in red up here in the menu. So you can kind of see where those trips are going. And then you can also view the results for a matrix as a whole. So if you go back to that matrix tab, as soon as that flow bundle is run, there'll be a new item added here called formula matrices. And then a flow bundle matrix will show up in here. And if you select that, that will bring up a new matrix editor window here where you can just quickly see at a glance where all of those trips are coming from and going to. All right, and with that, I will pull up our final example today. So again, just to open up the flow bundle here, I'm gonna to go to the graphics menu and then select flow bundle. And then again, here's where you can change that object type. So I'll just leave it as link for now. And I'll just select maybe one of these links and then click the play button. And so this is where you can see, again, it'll automatically generate these, these colors for you. And then if you want to clear that out, again, you can select that initialize button and that will just reset this window down here. So then you can also choose maybe if you wanted to look at vehicles traveling from a particular zone. So in this case, we'll see everyone coming from zone two. And then you can also further refine this again by selecting either another zone or a node or a link. So we could maybe narrow this down to any trips taking this ramp here. And you'll see when we, when we do that, um, in this case, we have a couple of bar options displayed. So just the regular assignment bars here are in red. And so those will show up the total volume here in the red parentheses. And then the flow bundle volumes will show up in the blue. Now to update any of these, again, you can right click on links. That's the, the quickest way to get to the, the graphics window. And then within the bars is where you can update any of those parameters. So if, if you just want to display just the flow bundle itself, you can uncheck the volume standard bars and just leave that flow bundle bar selected. And then these will be the only, only options showing up here in the network window. And again, to view any of the detailed information, you can go to list and then path and PRT path. And then from here, you'll just want to change that selection to the flow bundle route. And I'll just update this for all the zones. And then it can also be helpful to move this window around here. So you can highlight, this one's not super exciting, just has one, one option, but this is where you could see multiple options if you have that set up in your flow bundle. And this is just a really great tool to, to do to view results for um, specific links. And also for debug, if you're looking at potentially doing that origin destination matrix estimation, and you wanna see maybe where some of your vehicles are going if your count values aren't matching, this is a really great tool to use just to be able to see where the volume is, is going in the network.